Oh, praises to Yahweh, Ahashem, Yahweh Shai. Today we're going to go over Malachi chapter 1. Uh, you know, because the most high people, you know, we, we're going through so much right now, and a lot of us don't think, but some of us don't believe in the Lord, you know, but don't understand why we're going through this if we're supposed to be the Lord's chosen people. Okay? But we got to understand that, you know, we was put under curses. You know, from our forefathers being disobedient to the Most High. So this is what got us, you know, on this side, you know, in Babylon. Uh, and this was got us, you know, us scattered to the four corners of the earth. Okay. So let's just read Malachi because the Most High uh, knows where his people is. You know, he's coming back to save his people. And he knows who's uh, ruling over his people. So let's, this is Malachi 1, and it says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? You see that? So, we question the Lord and ask and ask and, and ask sometimes ourselves why we go through what we go through. You know, if we if the Lord love us, okay. But the Lord do love you, and He have you going through these things for a reason. You know. Okay, so it says let's let's start over. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? You see that? Because we see E with the blessings, and E having everything in this on this side, and the children of Israel going through hardships. Okay, so we it's it's, it's we ask the question sometimes why these people have what they have and we don't have anything so the question is, is asked he said is yet is Esau Jacob's brother and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness whereas Edom said we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places so these this this happened during the times of the um the rebirth, the renaissance, you know, when, um, you know, during the, during the renaissance time when they put up the uh, image of Yahweh, shot being so-called uh, pale face. It says, where, uh, it says, um, thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So according to the scriptures, the Lord hated Esau and laid all his his his, uh, his heritage waste. Okay, so according to the scriptures, the Most High is calling Esau a dragon. Okay. Because Esau is ruling the earth. Okay, so according to um, according to Job, you know the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. Okay. It says, "And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel." See that. It say, a son honored his father, a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name, Yahweh, 
Bahashim Yahawashah. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Because you put up a new name for the uh, Heavenly Father and an image with that name. You know, so you basically whitewash the so called. Uh, the black power, so-called black power, Yahweh, um, you 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 know what I'm saying you pretty much uh, marked him out, okay? So you have despised his name by calling him so-called Jesus, okay? Because the Lord's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh He said, you offer polluted bread upon my altar. And ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? Because you don't teach the truth in these churches. These buildings is not teaching the people the truth. So it's caused the people to err. And the Most High knows that. And that ye say, the table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? You see what I'm saying? Because this is why the world is going, this is why we're going through what we're going through, because we're not being taught the truth. And religion, through these so-called churches, has caused the people to err by not speaking the lost truth. You see? It says, offer it now unto thy governor, will he be pleased with thee, or accept, or accept thy person, said the Lord of hosts. And now I pray you, beseech God that he will be gracious unto us, the so-called twelve tribes of Israel. This had been by your means. Will he regard your person, said the Lord of hosts? Who is there even among you that would shut the doors for naught? Neither do you kindle fire on my altar for naught. I have no pleasure in you, said the Lord of hosts. Neither will I accept an offering at your hands. So there's no type of offering. Um, that the wicked can bring a gift to the Most High Yahweh because the wicked is already being uh, judgment has already been sealed so it's nothing the wicked can do to make it right with the Lord you know all we have to do is keep faith pray to the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and um have faith and trust and know that, you know, he will deliver those who believe in his name and his truth. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Let's catch another scripture right quick. I'm going to have time. My phone don't. So we're going to go to the, the New Testament. And, uh, I'm going to go to read in Matthew. Let us go to um, Matthew 6. 